Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. If you are struggling with Windows 11 issues, don't worry. Today we will show you how to repair your system using an advanced command line tool in Windows recovery mode. This step by step guide will help you to troubleshoot and fix your PC without losing data. So let's get started. First, you will need to prepare your Windows installation media. Insert a bootable USB or DVD containing Windows installation file. If you don't have one, you can create it using official Windows media creation tool from Microsoft official website. Once ready, connect the media to your PC. Now boot into Windows recovery mode. Restart your PC and press the appropriate key like F8, F11 or use Shift plus Restart from the start menu. If you are unable to boot into Windows recovery environment, then go to your PC's BIOS boot manager and select your Windows installation media to boot from that. Now choose your language preference and click next. At the install now screen, select repair your computer. Once in the recovery mode, select troubleshoot. Then go to advanced option and click on command prompt. Now identify the drive letter for your installation media. In command prompt, type disk part and press enter. Then type list wall and hit enter to display all drives. Look for the volume that matches your USB or DVD and note its drive later. Like in my case, it is G. Now exit from the disk part by typing exit. After that, locate the install.wim or install.esd file. In command prompt, type dar space g colon backward slash sources replacing g with your drive letter and hit enter confirm that either install.wim or install.esd is present in sources folder now we will be run dism command depending on your file type use this command for install.wim or for install.esd Type DISM space for slash image colon your system drive letter colon backward slash space for slash cleanup hyphen image space for slash restore health space for slash source colon g colon backward slash sources backward slash install dot wim space for slash limit access Replace G with your installation media's drive letter and hit enter. This command repairs the Windows image by using installation media as the source. If the temporary directory does not have enough free space or when working with large image or file that require significant temporary space to avoid overloading the system drive, Run DISM command specifying the scratch directories. Type DISM space for slash image colon C colon backward slash space for slash cleanup hyphen image space for slash restore health space for slash source colon G colon backward slash sources backward slash install dot wim space for a slash scratch dir colon g colon space for a slash limit access don't forget to replace c with the location of your windows installation install dot wim with the actual path to the install dot wim file 
and g with the path to your scratch directory. If you encounter errors like sources file could not be found, double check the path to install.waim or install.ehd and ensure the installation media matches your Windows version. If you see cannot access drives, use the disk part to verify the correct drive letters. And if you see DISM hangs or freezes, ensure the installation media is not corrupted or create a new media using the Windows Media Creation tool. Once DISM finishes, run the system file checker to ensure all system files are repaired. Type sfc space forward slash scan now space forward slash of booter equals c colon backward slash space for slash of window equals c colon backward slash windows and hit enter this will fix any remaining file corruption issues now exit from the command prompt and restart your pc Now your system should now be repaired and functioning normally. Ok as you can see we have successfully repaired our windows system using DISM in recovery mode. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question then please let us know. Please like comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.